Hi guys, it's Miss Shops a lot, and I hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, it is finally warming up here, which is awesome because that means garage sales are going to be more prevalent, which is great. But today is a rainy day, so rainy Sunday. So I am getting this video up and I am going to do some rearranging because we may have some puppies on the way. Yay! Um, if you guys follow me on social media, my I lost my min pin after 16 years uh, a couple months back. It's been hard. Uh, she was my whole world. <laughs> and... You know, we just, the, the house is just way too quiet and lonely. So we decided we were going to get another dog. And then that turned into, well, they're going to need a friend. So now it's two. <laughs> so wish me luck because I'm going to have craziness with two puppies in the house. <clears throat> All right. So I do have a haul today. I have some items that need a description and then some that don't. Um, so I will just jump right in. I will do the random stuff first, I guess. So the first thing I got was this um, Parisa Precision Waxing Pen Brows and, pa Brows and Face Coarse Hair. Uh, this was brand new. It was $3.50. I normally do my own eyebrows, and I taught my daughter at a young age how to do her eyebrows with um, a home waxing kit, like the hot ones, uh, just because... <clears throat> it's a good skill to learn and it saves you, you know, money. Um, this I'm going to try. I don't know how good it is, but I'm going to give it a try and see if this works because I'm just kind of sick of doing my own eyebrows and it's not worth it for me. I don't want to go to get them done because it literally takes me five minutes. If that, it's just a matter of pulling it off yourself is such a, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to give that a try and see if I like it. Uh, next were these two, uh, like, perfume type things. These are Heavenly Garden Pulse Point Perfume Oil. Me in the Garden. Kiss Me in the Garden is the name of the company. Um, this one obviously is the Heavenly Garden, and this one is the... These were 99 cents each. This is Cheddar... Cheddar, wow. <laughs> cedar sage and green tea and then there's some sort of rock or shell or something in there but they're these they're both brand new this one smells good this one doesn't really have much of a scent so i'm gonna see if i, I don't know if i'm gonna keep or not so uh next <laughs> i just had to get this i used to have one when i was a kid and i loved this thing and it was 99 cents at the store already Wait, it's locked. Or it's broke. Bing! <laughs> I thought I was so cool having one of these. So it's a switchblade, uh, switchblade comb. I mean, come on. You need one of these, right? Bam! So I picked that up for 99 cents. Uh, the next item I picked up was this Ascent, what is it? Essential Living? Young Living. Young Living, uh, it was $5.49. It is a oil diffuser. Um, I needed one for my bedroom. I have one downstairs. I actually, and yes, I know I have to be careful with certain oils with dogs. Um, I've already, I already know which ones are good and which ones aren't. Um, I did find a Young Living oil diffuser last year at a garage sale. And I, I paid uh, like $5 for it. And I wound up selling it for like $100. Um, it was some sort of like, I think it was a portable one. But yeah, that one sold for quite a bit of money. So I always look up Young Living. This one is like 40 bucks, But um, I thought it was pretty. Next, let's see. We'll do jewelry. So I have been doing so good at jewelry lately. Um, I have been finding some amazing stuff. I will be doing just a jewelry haul of stuff I find. Um, I tried doing the jewelry jar trend um, just because, one, I love jewelry, but I can't do it because I am brutally honest. If I don't like something, I will say I don't like it, and the jewelry people that like the jewelry jars do not appreciate that, so <laughs> it's just not for me. Um, 
but I do buy jewelry, uh, and I will show some videos of some jewelry hauls. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, I picked this up. This was, this was on clearance for, I think it was a half off. So it was a dollar. It's just a C. I don't think it's real or anything. It says Sarah. So it's probably Sarah Coventry. But I have a jean jacket with like all Chanel pins on it. So I'm going to put that with those. Uh, these are just regular, not regular earrings. These are like, I mean, they're not anything special other than pretty. These were $3.99 a piece. And I just thought they were so pretty. There was this pair and this pair. Zebelli. The only thing is, I don't know because they're a little heavy and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wear these or not. They're not like super heavy, but they're a little heavy and I don't want to stretch my ears out. So this I picked up. It was half off too. It was a dollar. Um, I didn't want to take the time to check to see if it was real because I just wanted to get out of there. Um, it is not real silver or gold um it is by acr ajr let me see ajr co i don't know what that means but i will be listing this for sale if your name is sheila i will be putting in my mercari if you're interested it looks real gold i have one of these from back when i was a teenager that says my name on it so i picked that up these i picked up one was 5.98 and the other was 2.98 and I kind of knew that they were something. And then when I got home and was able to look at them with a uh, magnifying glass, they are both 14 karat. So I got this one and this M, which used to be my maiden name. So I probably will sell these. Um, they're both 14 karat. And I got a really good deal for those. This one's pretty heavy. But I'm sure it's probably the stones too. So I was super excited about those. And then I picked these two up at the same store. This was $5. And it is an authentic... An authentic Burberry watch. Oh, hi! So for $5, that was a score. And then this one was marked. This one was brand new or like brand new. It's in really good condition. It is this Rebecca Minkoff watch. So pretty. This one oh, still got the things in there. Oh, this one was marked 30, but she was like, oh, today white tags are 50% off. So I got it for 15 it's not worth a crazy amount beyond that. Um, I might make a little bit of money off it, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, I picked it up. I'm actually going to see if my one of my BFFs wants it before I sell it. Um, okay, so that's it for jewelry. Now, let me see. This is a shirt that I picked up. It's by Boston Proper, which is a pretty expensive, um, so it says the shirt was $69. I paid $4.48. Or $4 Boston Proper is like a catalog thing, but it's just this, um, sh it's like a bat wing long shirt, but the back is so pretty. Nice and long. So I bought that to wear with a pair of like white capris in the summer. Um, so I really like that. Let's see. We'll do... Oh, this is random too. So I saw these at the store and I was like, what the heck are those for? And I'm like, is it a shelf? Because it's got this. So I'm like trying to like figure out how you would hang it. I'm like, no, that's not a shelf. What's that for? So I wound up using my trusty Google image search app. Well, so you get the regular Google app, and then you can Google reverse Google search on there. They are, the set was $30. I paid $348. Um, and what it is, is you put them in the side of your 
seat in your car for extra space. So this one goes on one side of your console and this one goes on the other. I love the bling, so I'm going to give those a try. I don't know if they're going to work. If not, I'll give them to my daughter. Um, oh, okay. Now shoes. First pair I got were these. I thought they were really nice. They're like, these are new. They're, nobody wore these. Um, they are True Religion blue sneakers. There's nowhere. And these were $10, which is a little more than I usually pay. Um, but I figured these were worth to resell because they are like brand new. They are brand new. Nobody wore these. Um, so I picked these up and then I picked these. Up. Okay. So these are ugly, but they kind of actually look like those ugly, uh, who is it? Kanye West, those ugly white prison looking shoes. Um, these were $5 and 39 cents, but let me tell you something. I have said it. I've screamed it. The Crocs are amazing. Um, these I had in black. I would have not normally buy these in white because white is just no good for me. Um, but these sandals are the most comfortable sandals ever. I wore these in black. Um, they, I don't know if these are the almost barefoot. I don't think they are, but there's a shoe called almost barefoot, AB, ABF. And they are the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. Um, we walked around Disney all day in them and my feet did not hurt even a little bit. They are amazing. These I'm sure are amazing as well. Um, being that they're white, I would probably only use them for, um, maybe the beach or a theme park or something like that. It's just not something I would normally wear, even though I do have a pair of white Gucci flip-flops, but that's a, you know, that's a whole other situation. <laughs> um, all right. So that's it for shoes. And now we'll get into the purses. Um, this first guy we have here, I thought this was really pretty. And then I seen this and I knew exactly who it was, which is Patricia Nash. Um, it has this back pocket. It has this long, um, crossbody. And this was, let me see, $4.98. It's in really, really good condition. It has the credit card slots. It has this inner pocket, this pocket, and this pocket. And it's just a nice gold and brown crossbody. Patricia Nash makes some wonderful, wonderful leather uh, products. Let me tilt you guys up a little. There we go. Uh, the next item I got was this lug. Sometimes lug sells either immediately or it sits for me. But it is this lug bag. I don't... Oh, wait. Do they, do they usually have the name of it. It is a scoop. It has the crossbody strap. This is brand new. This was never used. Um, and it seems like all the lug stuff I do find... This was $3.98. It seems like all the lug stuff I do find is, like, brand new. Like, do people just buy them? Oh, wait. Maybe it's not brand new. Oh, what do we have here? We have the Virgin Mary. It is Mary conceived within, without his prayer, without sin, pray for us. Um, so those were in there. And then that pocket, nothing's in there. Um, I usually only find like old band-aids and used tissue and <laughs> stuff. So that was a nice little surprise. Oh, and then there's a back zipper pocket as well. Out of zippers. Um, so yeah, I picked this up for $4. Okay, now we're going to get into the goods. This I thought was so nice. At first I thought it was Bottega, Bottega Veneti. I was like, ooh, is that? It is not. But it is a Cole Haan. Um, it is brand new. I paid $7 for it. Cole Haan used to be a good sale for me. I don't know what happened. People just do not buy Cole Haan anymore unless it's a certain um, brand or look or whatever. I figured this one would probably sell. Um, it is so pretty with this patent leather and regular suede uh, woven with the handles. I just thought that was really nice. But yeah, even Cole Haan shoes don't sell like they used to. Um, so yeah. All right, now let's get into the good, good. 
Um, my husband is cooking downstairs and it smells wonderful. So I'm up here like starving <laughs> while he's down there enjoying himself. All right, so we got this. Woo! This big old Longchamp leather. Hold on, let me give you the full effect. Leather tote. It's in pretty good condition. It has some wear. This is just dust. Um, it has a little bit of wear on the handles, but I'm going to lotion her up and she will look gorgeous. So you can either have the sides out like this or snap together like so. But it is a beautiful leather bag. And this is my, well, no, it's not my first leather bag, long shop. It's my first big tote leather. Um, this is the inside. It was $7. It is authentic. Here is the tag. You're not gonna be able to see it. There we go. And then the plastic rubber tag. And then it has a pocket there, two pockets here, this zip pocket here. It's just a really, really nice bag. I have gone back and forth on whether I'm going to keep it, but I am going to sell it, alas, because I have too many bags, as it is, especially totes. But do you see how, like, it's, like, funky right there? It's not. It doesn't affect the durability of this bag at all. It's just, I don't know, like, there must be a... There's, like, something in here, and it must have come apart right there. Um, so I picked that up for seven whole dollars. Okay. Now the rest are Gucci and Louis, and I have a story with the Louis. Um, this, I'm not positive if it is real. I have to do some more research. Um, it is vintage. It is missing this piece, the GG, which I do have vintage Gucci that that's came off too. So, um... I have to do some research. I did not see any Gucci in here. Um, so I'm not sure. This kind of makes me feel like it's not. Um, it has this little pocket here. So it was $4.98. And hear my smoke alarm going off. He's down there burning stuff. So I'm thinking it's not. Um, but I am going to do some research, and if not, even still, it's still a cute little crossbody. Small enough just to throw my um, little wallet and my uh, cell phone in here, because it's nice and tiny with the long blue leather strap. So, normally I would not buy, um, unless I knew for sure, but I thought this one was really cute, so I did pick that one up. Alright, now, which one did, okay, so this one. So this bag was on one of my local buy, sell, trade type things. He had it on there for four hundred. Um, I offered him. I can't remember, but I wound up getting it for one fifty. And I don't know what it is with my area. But every time I find Louis Vuitton, it stinks like weed. Like, I bought the little Louis Vuitton, um, what is it? The the little, like, key thing with the, the chain. S reeked of weed. Still had weed in it. So, obviously, it's what he carried his weed in. And then this thing I pick up and it, it I don't know if he did a, a I don't know. It, the whole thing reeked of weed. But anyways, it is this. I got this for one fifty. Let, let me move you guys back. Sorry. One second. All right, there we go. I paid one fifty for this. This is, I believe, this is the sixty. Let me double check. Uh, no, this is the fifty-five. So I had the sixty already. It has a little bit of wear. It needs some lotion, um, some conditioner. Um, I had the 60 already and I was like, what do I, but I really, I had just the regular one. This is the bandolier one. So I was like, I really want a bandolier one because I have a 45 that's a bandolier and it's so much easier to use because of the strap carrying these big ones without the strap just sucks. And my husband winds up having to carry it. So 
I picked that up for $150. I was super excited. So now I have two bandoliers. Only problem is it did not come with the strap. Now here lies my next purchase. So I was like, well, you know, if I use my, if I'm not using my 45, I can switch and put the strap here. And then I had another strap from a different luggage that was close enough that wasn't Louis Vuitton. And I was like, well, I'll just use that until, you know, something comes up. Enter this guy. All right. Hold on. Two, 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 two. All right. So this guy I purchased on, I believe it was eBay. Um, she had it listed. It did have a broken zipper, which we're going to go into a rant on. Once again, another fail for my cobbler situation. Um, so anyways, I wound up getting this for $100. This is another 45, I believe. 45? Yeah, because the 40, yeah, it's a 45. I wound up getting this one for $100. And I figured, you know what? If nothing else, because in the pictures, it looked terrible. It looked terrible in the, con I mean, it's all a matter of how you present a bag. So the pictures of it were just squished down and just thrown and it was, wasn't nice. So I was like, I don't know what I'm getting for that. So I was like, if nothing else, the main reason I was buying this was for the strap. Cause the strap alone is anywhere from 150, 200 and up depending on the condition. This one would absolutely be. $150, $175 for the strap. So I was like, all right, for $100, I will buy this. I will use the strap for my 55 and I will resell it without the strap for probably $150. So I would have made money off of the deal. However, when I got the bag, I was like, holy shit, this is in really good condition. Yes, it has some age to the leather, but the leather is still all good and intact. The handles are slightly, you know, not slightly, they're, 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 uh, discolored from use, but not a deal breaker at all. Not bad. Like I can clean these up and if nothing else, I can replace these handles. Um, if I wanted to, well, no, I can't now because I had the, um, thing changed, but for a hundred dollars for another bandolier and the bandoliers are more expensive because of the strap and everything. So for, Less than three, so 250 I got two bandolier um, bags, which is really good. Okay, now on to my fail. So I took this in to get the zipper replaced. It had a busted out zipper. Um, so I went and I got the zipper, I went to get the zipper replaced and I asked him, um, and he did an amazing job on the zipper. Let's just start there. He did a really, really good job. It has some glue here and there that needs to be um, scraped off, but that's not a big deal at all. So let me preface by saying the zipper work compared to what I have had done was very good. I was very happy with the zipper work. Okay, move on to the problem. It cost me $40 for the zipper. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was $30 for the zipper. No biggie, right? Because it's a, an investment. The more, better it looks, the more money I'll get out of it, but I'm not selling. Um, so I asked him, I was like, do you, could you put two zippers heads on this? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I could do that. He's, he's, um, an immigrant, but I'm not sure from where, um, he, I, he has done work for me before and I was, I liked the work he did before. Um, he's not very nice. <laughs> there is no smiles or hello with him. He's all business. Um, so anyways, I said, I'd like two zippers, you know, one going this way, one going this way. No problem. I go in to pick up the bag, pick it up. And I'm immediately, I'm like, oh, what the heck? He's got this beautiful brass zipper with two silver heads. And they were short. Like the piece was short. So it was like hard to zipper. So I'm like, oh, this ain't going to work. I got home. I'm like, I, I, I don't like it. I don't, I can't. And then I start to smell. I'm like, what the hell? I'm super, super, super sensitive to smoke because I was once a smoker and now, believe it or not, I'm allergic to it. So I'm like, this thing stinks, reeks of cigarettes. And I don't remember it reeking of cigarettes beforehand. I mean, it was bad. It was so, so strong. 
So I'm like, does this guy smoke in his store? So I go in because I need this fixed. This is just not going to do. You know, I've, I've gone through some shit with my bags. Um, so I go in and immediately I'm hit with cigarette smoke. I'm like, son of a bitch. He smokes in his shop. So he's just, and he must be a chain smoker because this thing smelled like he was smoking in it. So I'm like, damn it. Um, I asked, you know, I brought, he wound up changing this out for me and putting a, a gold one on. No problem. Um, he's like, why you no ask for silver? Uh, cause I didn't think I'd need to ask if all oh, the rest of it is gold, <laughs> but lesson learned. So now I'm like, damn, I can't bring stuff to him no more, especially if I'm going to sell it because he smokes and <sighs> it's so un, it's so bad. Like just, sm and, and it's not like a, his house, it's a retail location and yeah, the whole place reeked of smoke. So that is my semi fail again but again he did an amazing job putting the zipper in so i have to wait let's see it doesn't it doesn't smell like smoke anymore i did um ozone the shit out of it and i bought i wound up finding um giant plastic bags at walmart ziploc ziploc bags so i just sprayed it put it in the ziploc bag let it sit for a few days and it was good to go so yeah that is my Louis Vuitton story. And yes, both are authentic. Had them both authenticated by Miss Erin Street, which her um, info is below. Always the best when it comes to authenticating my bags. Um, but you can see how this one is a little more honey than this one, which is completely fine. But so now I have 245s. And a 55. And I sold the 60. I paid, I think my husband paid 350 for the 60 because it was brand new. Um, he paid 350 for the 60 for me for my for my birthday or Christmas one year. Um, and I resold that for 550. 550 or 600. So I made um a little money off of it, which would cover these two. So it was even trade. Oh no, 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 sorry, it was not an even trade. I wound up making I don't know. Whatever. Do the math. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, I don't know if I overpaid for this, but I really, really like it. This is a special edition Gucci bag. Um, I think it's like, I can't remember which one it is. I did pay up for this. Um, I had some credit, which is so nice because then it feels like I'm not really spending money when you have credit on Mercari. Um, I was a little sad because the the shoulder strap is just a shoulder strap. I cannot wear this as a crossbody, which I wanted to. I did pay $125 for this. Um, but it's in really, really good condition. Um, it's authentic. It's a really nice piece. I love it. Um, I'm torn between taking this off and putting holes, D, holes in for a D-ring to make it a crossbody. Um, it's not something I'm going to resell. Well, at least not anytime soon. I'm not sure if I like it being a shoulder bag. I have to wear it yet. I haven't worn it yet. Like I said, I don't really do anything until I've shown you guys. And then I, then it's mine. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. But the inside is all leather. And it is limited edition. This inside pocket right here. So, yeah, that I paid up for. So, I don't have a lot of Gucci. I have um, I have two that are vintage. Um, one I use all the time, and then I have a blue one that I haven't really used yet. I do have a clutch that I've shown you at some point, which, again, I'm going to be doing my um, purse... Uh, collection. <laughs> um, so I'll show you that when I get to um, my purse collection. I'll do Gucci and I'll do separate designers. So this was my $150 or $120 Gucci bag. What do you think? Would you have paid that much? Did I overpay? Because you know, I'm like, 
I like to buy stuff super duper cheap. <laughs> but sometimes I like to pay up if it's something I really, really like. Um, and I am so excited about finally using these someday. If I can ever go on vacation again. <laughs> um, but with two new babies coming, we will probably not be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope y'all are still here. Uh, so and have a great week coming up. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.